Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2005 Toyota Sequoia 4-wheel drive V8 4.7 liter. The current owner just recently purchased her as a used vehicle from a different party. He drove, what, five and a half, six hours to get her. He's very happy, she's very clean, has 175,000 miles on the odometer. I'm not sure if I said that yet. But he was kind of saying, huh, I'm not sure if she, if she shifts correctly. He had a Tundra before, he has experience with this generation of Tundras. He never had a four-wheel drive Sequoia and he was questioning if it's working correctly. And these transmissions are generally pretty bulletproof. We don't see them failing at that mileage. The model number of the tranny, it's A750F. It could be E or F. This one is F. You can find it on the wind number, which is on the door. So how you wanna check the health of your transmission how you want to evaluate if it's okay well I took it on the test drive and if he didn't tell me that he has some questions or concerns at that test drive which lasted 10 minutes under various shifting conditions I drove it fast slow neighborhood highway I will say it shifted correctly. I didn't feel any flares or hard shifts, hesitations and so on. I was happy with it. So if he didn't tell me, I will not question it. But what's the relatively easy way to see the health of transmission? You could look on the fluid only, but I will make a claim that the best is is drop the pan, remove the pan and its gasket. This pan was already clean, it's being prepared for install. And if you drop the pan, you will actually have access to the filter. And you will be able to look inside if in this filter, this very fine mesh, if possibly there are any metal shavings. Also, these are four magnets I cleaned them already but I will I took a pictures of them and I will show it to you in this video so these magnets has a specific position it's here 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 and here that's where they were sitting in relatively clean fluid the fluid was not having original color it was slowly getting dark but he has he has gotten from the previous owner super thick file of all the services the previous person was very detail oriented and was keeping those services and this transmission was service approximately 10000 miles ago so, of course, when you buy something like this, you will always question, oh my God, did I got scammed? Is it the reason why they sold it? So you are looking for these details, right? And look what is on my finger. I didn't wipe clean this filter and this filter was floating in that oil. I will just show you. We will walk towards to the tranny. But first I'm trying to show you. Do you see this little... This is super fine shavings and dirt which occur and they happen uh, because the transmission is doing what it's supposed to do, right? Shift the gears. So there's a lot of clutches, moving parts are made of metal and you are basically looking if you don't have some larger shavings being caught on the magnets and I will show you in just a second the pictures, four pictures 
I took picture for the owner, every single magnet. You are looking inside. There's the fine mesh. I'm pretty sure you can see it. Can you? Oh yeah, you see that fine mesh? So it's not a paper element, like it's like a fine metal, very fine metal mesh. So you are trying to see any bigger metal shavings and in his case, fortunately, they weren't any. Let's go look together on the vehicle itself. So I have this large etching pen here not to make any mess and carefully, right, I'm working on it. So you can see that transmission body I cannot go underneath it because it still keeps dripping I don't want to have it inside of this lens so I will just go from the side and uh, you can see the brand new filter already installed and basically that was the reason to remove the pan and that rubber gasket because you want to see what is inside of the pan the flushes will maybe clean the fluid but that very fine black stuff you don't flush it off especially what is sitting inside of the pan i used many shop towels the blue towels to wipe clean this and there always will be that residue and it will be on the magnets i probably already showed you the four pictures uh, as I will be making a video, so you already saw what was on the magnets. There was the super fine shavings, and that's what you are hoping for. If the shavings will be larger, that's a problem. And you might be saying goodbye to your transmission. Most likely you will be. In his case, his metal shavings were microscopic, very fine and therefore i will say knowing the records this transmission was done i think it was three years but only 10 or eleven thousand miles ago therefore observing all above what we just discussed i will say i will just pay very uh, uh, Big attention to setting the level, right? This is a seal transmission, so the setting the level of the fluid. That's a special procedure for it, which we also discussed many times on this channel in different videos. So I will have to take care of that. Make sure maybe the level was very slightly low. But again, on my test drive, in my opinion, my expertise, the training was at that moment working perfectly. So this is one of the ways you can evaluate the health of your training. You don't need any extra special tools, right? There was a 20 little 10 millimeter bolts holding it together. You can see that whole pile right here, 10 millimeter. The filter was held with a four 10 millimeter bolts right when you will be doing this job don't over torque these because you don't want to damage the shape of this relatively thin pan that's why there is a, that it will be i have over there on the table is the rubber gasket which comes here brand new that comes with that filter as a set so that's one of the ways you can check if your tranny is in the good shape. I hope I mentioned don't over torque these 10 millimeter bolts. It's 20 of them in this case. As you can see, I'm using the smallest tools I have and I'm very careful. And when I will start torquing them, I will go crisscross. Right now, I'm only doing that first initial very tiny torque on them i believe if you will check the see this one was still loose so i'm doing just that start this one also loose loose i'm basically using almost zero torque on it 
Uh, I believe they are supposed to be torqued the 8 newton meters. So you will go here, 8, and then you go the other side, crisscross, right? Across the other sections. You got the idea, right? So I will keep working for him on these projects. If he will bring it in the future to my shop, which I assume he will, we will yeah. keep filming all kinds of repairs on it. If you enjoy this video, please give a thumb up and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon in the future. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. And have a wonderful day, my friend.